Hi everybody, my name is Kurt Munier. I'm the Director of Sales Engineering here at Convey. And today I'm going to show you how Convey's MBAS platform enables you to build apps quickly, cutting weeks or months out of your time to market. In today's example, we're going to set up the back end of an example HR application. This one's meant to track job applicants. And we're going to do this from scratch in about 10 minutes. This is a process that if you were going to do by yourself from scratch without Convey, would take you probably several months. Now today we're going to use a mobile web app, which is built with Backbone.js, but Convey's diverse client-side libraries that you can see here in our Dev Center allow your front-end developers to choose the language of their choice, whether it's native or hybrid or a combination of the two. Now as you can see, our front-end developers have gotten started on this app but they haven't been able to make much progress. They've been waiting for our backend team to set up an authentication source for them, as well as for integration with our enterprise Salesforce system, that's the system of record in this case, to be ready. But now that we're using Convey, they can get started without having to wait for any of that. This is enabling true two-speed IT, as Gartner calls it. As you can see, this app is pretty useless right now. If I enter my username and password, I can't even log in because we don't have an authentication mechanism in place. So what we're going to do is use Convey to set that up very quickly. Here in the Convey Management Console, you can see all of the apps that I'm working on. You can see the different environments for each of those apps. And I'm going to go into the development environment for this Applicant Tracker app that we're building. And the first thing I want to do is set up an authentication provider. So I'm going to go into Users. And you can see here there are a number of options presented to me. I can use the, either use Convey as the provider, I can integrate with a social media provider like a Google or a Facebook, or I can integrate with an enterprise identity management provider like a Active Directory, for example. Today we're going to use Conveys as a data source, so what I'm going to do is add, an, add a user here, give myself username and password, and you can see that this user is now created and Conveys Identity Management already has all of these features built in, such as you know, suspending the user, resetting the user's password. All of that's there for me. I don't have to build any of that from scratch. So I've added this user, and now I'm going to go back to my app, and I'm able to log in. Now, this is great, but this app's still pretty useless. As you can see, we don't have any data here. So it's really going to be hard for our front-end developers to get the UI right without any sample data. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a collection within Convey and start them off with some sample data so they can get going while we wait for our system of record for Salesforce to be ready. So back in the Convey console over here, we go to data, and I'm going to create a applicants collection to track our applicant data. So I'm going to add the collection here. We'll call it applicants. For now, we're going to use Convey as the system of record. We'll create that. And I'm going to go over into settings, and you can see here I can set permissions on this data. All that is built in for me. I don't have to build any of that from scratch. And I'm just going to import some sample data from a JSON file that I have available. Select that, we'll import it. And if I go back into the data browser, you can see here we now have some sample records of job applicants. I can see what position they're applying for. In some cases, I have a GitHub ID. And if I just reload, the app, you can see that that data is now coming into the app itself. So this is great. Our front-end developers can now start working on the UI. Clearly, I think they have some work to do here. Um, if I click into a record, you can see here in Shabong's record that he's applying for the DevOps lead position. Um, but we don't have a lot of useful information about this job applicant. Uh, one thing that we do have in the data, you can see we have a GitHub ID for him. So it would be great for this app if we weren't just limited to one data source. If we could mash up data from, say, our system of record, as well as from a third-party source like GitHub, and pull back relevant information about this user. And I could do that in the convey business logic layer. You'll notice that I'm not touching anything on the client side here. I already have space for these fields if we were pulling them back, but none of this data is coming right now. So I'm going to go back to the console here, and we're going to add in some business logic to mash up the two data sources. So what I'm going to do is create what we call a collection hook, and I'm going to do that on the applicant's data. 
you can see here that I can put a hook before I save, before I fetch data, before I delete data, or after the fact, so after I save data, after I fetch it, etc. In this case, we want to add a post fetch hook. And what we're going to do is say, if we're on the detail screen, if we're pulling back a single record, and if we have a GitHub ID, let's make a call out to GitHub's API and pull back some information about this, this user. So I'm going to create this script. This is just JavaScript. Any developer should be able to work with this fairly easily. And I've pre-written a script here for us. Let me just copy this. And we'll paste it in here. And just to walk you guys through this script, what we're doing here is saying, if we have the record and if we have the GitHub ID, let's make a call out and get this user's profile data from GitHub as well as the repositories that they're working on. So it gives you know our, our HR people a better sense of who this person is and what they've done. So let's save this. And I'm going to go back to the app itself and let's reload this one more time. And we'll go back into Shubong's record. And you can see here we're now pulling in his profile picture as well as the repositories that he's working on that are stored in GitHub. So very easily we were able to manipulate the response being sent back to the client. We were able to mash up two data sources just by using Kidvay's business logic layer. So this is all great. We have a, an app here ready to go. Maybe we also want to have a file store for this app. That's another thing that Convey can provide out of the box. So if our front end developers want to add in the ability to upload a resume to this app, just choose a resume file. We'll upload that. You can see here, if I go to files, that we now have the file there. So Convey is providing a file store for us on the back end as well. So this app is getting there. Our front end developers can keep working on the UI. They have all the sample data they need. They have the third party data from GitHub coming in here. And when our system of record is finally ready, we're just going to be able to flip a switch and the app is instantly going to be pulling from the system of record. So I mentioned earlier that Salesforce is the system of record in this case. You can see here I have Salesforce open. I have a custom object called applicants that's been created. You can see a few records in here. And what I'm going to do from the convey console is change the applicants collection to use Salesforce as the data source instead of convey. So going back to the applicants collection here, if I go to settings, I'm going to change a data source. I'm going to select Salesforce, confirm that. And I'm going to show you how this is configured. This is using something we call Rapid, which allows you to integrate with REST endpoints very easily without writing a single line of code. If I launch our Rapid Editor here, you can see a couple services that I have configured that I have access to within my apps. We're going to go into the applicant one. And here we can look at the mapping between the convey collection and the Salesforce endpoint. So if I look here, I can see the fields that the Salesforce endpoint is returning. I can select which ones I want to send down to my mobile device. And if I save that, you can go back to the app now. And you can see now we have some records back. Now the really neat thing about this is that business logic that we added earlier still applies. So if I drill into Paris's record here, you can see we're still pulling in his GitHub information, including the repositories he's working on, his logo, etc. And we didn't have to change any of that when we changed the data source. All of that is still in place. So this is really adding agility to your environment as well as speeding things up. So what we've again seen here in the last 10 minutes is from scratch, we've built the back end of an application. We've added a data collection that's going to allow us to use some sample data or store data permanently we want if we want in a very scalable way. We've added some business logic on top of that data to mash up a third party data source. And we've connected to our enterprise system, in this case Salesforce, and integrated with that without writing any code and pull that data into the app. Thanks for your time and we invite you to try out the Convey platform.